Imin Sunshine State. The diver found the bottle on the shore of Siesta Key Beach in Florida. Guys, it's a really busy day today at the beach. It just took me a long time to park my truck. And um, while I was parking my truck, I got some really bad news. One of my family members was just killed in a car accident. So uh, I was debating on coming out here to make a video today, but uh, I got Florida Mike out in the water waiting for me. And um, he doesn't have a cell phone on him for me to let him know what's going on. So I, I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna get out there. I'm gonna do my best to have a good day today. Today I'm gonna be diving with my Blue 3 Nemo and my Mind Lab Mana Core. Let's get on out there. Let's uh, meet up with Mike and we're gonna really put it to the test, make sure this thing's waterproof and see if we can find anything good. It's time to rock and roll. Let's get in the water and uh, let's see what we can find today.
like this. See if I can get this message out. There's more than just this message in there. Oh, they like taped it or something. Try to be careful not to destroy it. All right. Naya, happy birthday. I took a trip just to feel close to you. I am in the sunshine state wishing you was here. I know I love you more than life, but I know you love me just as much. Happy birthday until I see you. Love, Dad. And there's a phone number on the back. Wow. Let's call this number and see if we can uh, get the story about how this bottle ended up there. Please leave your message for... Aww. Hi, uh, my name is Sean. I'm a treasure hunting YouTuber from Sarasota. And I was just diving at Siesta Key today and I found a message in a bottle with your phone number on it. So I was just curious uh, to know a little bit more about the bottle. Uh, if you could call me back, uh, that'd be great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello? Hi, my name is Sean. I got a call from you earlier. Are you the person whose message in a bottle I found? It was my brother's. How did you find it? 
So I was diving off the coast of Siesta Key down here in Sarasota, Florida. You know, I have a YouTube channel where I find and return people's lost jewelry. And that's what I was out there doing. And I came across this bottle and, and I brought it home and I opened it up and I read the note inside and I'm probably going to get a little mo emotional saying this, but I lost a family member that morning when I was sitting in the parking lot at the beach. You know, I was looking to maybe uh, talk to your brother or someone who could maybe, you know, tell me how this bottle ended up there and, uh, you know, maybe when he put it in the in the water and... Uh, a week ago. Really? It was only a week? Yeah. Oh, that's unbelievable. I was out in the deep water and uh, that's crazy that, <laughs> you know, you never know. Sometimes I find things that were lost decades ago and you just never know. So this is, I'm his sister. I lost my son in January and he lost his daughter over five years ago. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry to hear that. But I'm gonna call him on the three-way for you. Hold on. Okay, thank you. All right. Hi. Uh, hey, how's it going? I I guess I found your message in a bottle at Siesta Key. Uh, I was I was telling your sister that it, it's kind of wild that I found this when I did. I was sitting out in the parking lot uh, yesterday morning, you know, the the day that I found this bottle, and and I received the news that a family member of mine just passed away in a car accident. So I was, I was like very emotional to begin with. And, uh, and I read this, that letter that you wrote, it was, it's very sad and I'm very sorry that that happened to you. Was her name Naya? Shania. Shania, oh, Naya was her nickname? Yeah. It was meant for you to find that bottle and you found that bottle, so you know, I guess you know it was meant for us to meet you in that way. Of course. And I, I appreciate it with somebody that cares enough to know that it was something sentimental in that bottle. Yeah, I, I could tell that it was so special. You know, I, 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 I really never expected it to say what it said. And for that to happen on that same day. She lost her life in a tractor trailer accident. Oh my goodness. So it was like, I don't know, man. The world works funny, but. The world, the world is very was funny. Much, it was must be meant for us to meet you. And you experienced that same tragedy when you met my daughter, when you met that bottle. So it's kind of like ironic. Like I said, it was meant for us to meet you. And, you know, I'm trying to hold myself together. But it was meant for us to meet you. So my main reason, my main objective was to come do that message in the bottle. And when I did it, I felt something unique. I felt something different. So She was, she was, she was 19 years old. And she's a beautiful, she definitely was a beautiful soul. You know, this, this metal detecting hobby, it started out and, you know, I, I had dreams of, you know, finding gold and diamonds and getting rich. And, you know, I, I realized when I found my, found and returned my first wedding ring, I realized what I could do for people. And, uh... You, you know, listen, you know, and this thing, as we get to know each other, you know, you know, this, I met you for a reason. There's a story to tell. And you don't even know the turmoil that I'm going through over her state. It's so disgusting, but you know, another time I'll get into that, but it's just such an emotional state for me yeah. to be yeah. on her. And I still do it all try to be connected to her and not allow those things to take control of me. Oh, uh, you know, God is good. Things happen for a reason. Um, I know that now that when I do come that way, I'll make it a point to let you know I'm there and if you're available, yeah. whatever it is that we can do to socialize and get to know one another or whatever, or tell a story, whatever needs to be done, I'm more than willing to take this is very unique. And yeah. I really appreciate it. With your craft, it's not only the tragedy that we both experience, it's a part of your craft. So it was meant for you to be that person. Yeah. You bring light. You bring light back into people's lives. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When it's dark and it's gloomy and they feel like they need to do something to get that energy. Here's a person that comes along like, I felt what it is that you're looking for that can put a smile on your face. Right. And I didn't destroy you. Right. Or I didn't take you. Or I didn't keep you. It's just, it's just unique, man. It's just, a, it's, just, it's just a raw, unique feeling I'm experiencing right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, I know. You know. Like, I can't wait to tell someone this story. And, and you know what else, Sean? What's that? Being honest with you, I was having a very gloomy day. But now that I know that it's real, God sent you to tell me she got you. Yeah. Chill out. Don't let nobody distract you, disturb you. Like, I know it's real. I know it's real. This is real. Because I was having a very gloomy day. Very gloomy. 
I, and here it is. Put something right in my face to remind me. Someone loves you. You have something to live for. Keep pushing. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. It was meant to meet you. And I'm, I'm, I'm a lady, and I don't even know what else to say. Like, <laughs> it just shows me things are really real. I so, know. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, have a good have a good night. We'll, we'll, we'll be talking to you. You too. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Wow, guys. Was that emotional or what? <laughs> We've got a little work to do. I got to get this bottle put back together, sealed back up, and we got to get back out there and put Shania's bottle back in the water. Well, guys, I'm back out at the beach. I've got my Blue Three Nemo and the bottle with me. I've got the message back in the bottle, the flowers back in there. I'm gonna take it out to where uh, no one will likely find it for a long time. So, of course, as you can see, it's a pretty rough day, so I gotta be safe, but I'm gonna put on all the gear and uh, let's get out there and uh, return this bottle.